Hey everyone, it's good to connect with you again today. As COVID cases in our area continue to be high, the pause on indoor gatherings at the church remains in place. Most of the Wesleyan churches in Western New York are doing the same or are moving in that direction. But this doesn't mean that we aren't doing all that we can to stay connected. We're still streaming worship each Sunday at 10 a.m. And we're still meeting outside the parking lot for an 11:15 worship service. Last Sunday's weather was kind of a test of our will to continue, but we had over 60 people attend, some in cars, some in chairs. Sunday's weather may again be a challenge, but we're going to be out there nonetheless. I read something recently about a man who walked across the USA from East Coast to West. It took what seemed forever. He wore out numerous pairs of shoes, and as he got closer to the end, the media picked up the story, so when they finished, they wanted him to hold a press conference. In the midst of this media event, someone asked him, did you ever want to give up? He smiled and answered, oh yeah, almost every day. And that led to a follow-up question. So what was it that made you want to give up? Was it the loneliness of the Appalachians? Was it the wind and dust of the prairies? Was it the snow in the Rockies? Was it the heat of Arizona? What was it that was most difficult? What was it that made you want to give up so often? And he answered, no, it wasn't any of those. It wasn't the, the weather, it wasn't the terrain, or, or even the mind-numbing sameness. Now, what, what really got to me, what really made me want to think about quitting so often was the daily sand in my shoes. I suspect that right now, most of us wake up every day with the feeling of sand in our shoes. And we go to bed every night with the feeling of sand in our shoes. And we live the hours in between with the feeling of sand in our shoes. Everything we do right now seems to take more physical energy, more emotional energy, more mental energy, more spiritual energy. And now, after eight months of this, we still aren't over it. We're still right smack dab in the middle of it. And we're realizing more than ever that it's not easy to live every day with sand in our shoes. I think that the Old Testament patriarch Jacob would say that he lives with sand in his shoes too. Of course, for Jacob, it's both figurative and literal sand. But he knows the reality of discouragement. He knows the reality of thinking that things are getting better and and then they don't. He knows the anxiety of an uncertain future. And among the many words of God to him, I would argue that the most profound and the most important, perhaps even maybe the most surprising word from God is simply, Jacob, I will be with you. God makes this promise to Abraham and Isaac. God makes this promise to Moses when he sends him to lead his people out of Egypt. God makes this promise to Israel as he leads them through the Red Sea, through the desert, and into the Promised Land. This is not a promise that eliminates trouble or hardship. This is not a promise that, to keep the sand out of our shoes. It's a promise to give us grace and hope when it feels like the sand is more than we can take. We might take it for granted, but it's an awesome thing. For the one who creates all things and rules over all things, the one who is perfectly holy, to promise his presence to frail and fragile, fallible and sinful people like you and me. But this promise is one more reminder of the depths of God's grace and love for each of us. We may want a life where there's no sand in our shoes, but God doesn't make that promise. He does promise, however, that though the sand gets in our shoes, He will be with us to strengthen us, to encourage us, to hold us, to carry us every single day, no matter what. Heavenly Father, thank you for the promise of your presence. In our struggle, in our disappointment, in our discouragement, remind us that you are with us. And may we celebrate 
life in your presence. Through Christ we pray. Amen. Thanks again for joining me. Have a wonderful day.